Hey, this is Christian again from High Level Content Army. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to grant access to communities in workflows. So right now with the Go High Level latest update, there are right now two triggers for groups. One is group access granted, the other one is group access revoked, and there are two actions, grant group access and revoke group access. So basically the same thing, one for workflow, one trigger, the other one for action. So I'm gonna show you an example. Let's say that I wanna do every single time there's a group access granted, then I can send a welcome email. So something like welcome to the group. And then right now there's even right now custom fields for group access granted, which make it very, very great. So you can put, hey, welcome to the group. Then let's say that we wanna do something different. We wanna do group access revoked. So whenever the group access revoked, let's say we can send an email, say, hey, you are out. And then we can have a tag, for example, right? Like revoked, something like this. Then I'm gonna show you um, the actions. So for the actions, I'm gonna delete trigger and I'm gonna insert an action to show you. So let's say that anytime there's a form submitted, or actually even better, let's make Facebook lead form submitted, we wanna give access, we wanna grant group access. And then I would choose my group here. I don't have any right now, but that's how you would do it. And then we can do the same thing for revoking group access. So don't confuse it with membership revoke offer. This is a different thing. So let's say that whenever a tag is added, let's say the tag is um, whenever someone no shows a call, then we can revoke the person from the group. So again, I don't have any, but that is how you would do it. So those are the four um, things you can do, two workflow triggers and two actions for giving and revoking group access in Go High Level. 